Hi, my name is Garrett. Welcome back to another episode of Guidelines with Garrett. Today, our topic is costume construction. Awesome. So, what is costume construction? Well, let's look at it in layman's terms. Costume construction is an individual IE at Thespian Festival where students are required to use their skills in order to create a costume while paying attention to great detail. So, let's look a little bit more into costume construction, shall we? What you're going to need for your presentation at costume construction is, well, duh, a costume, as well as a poster exemplifying how you created it. And we'll go into more detail here later in the video. So the first thing, costumes. So we look at it, if you've done this before, you might be thinking, oh, I don't need this video, I've done this plenty of times. Well, wait, guess what? There are new patterns, I repeat, new patterns in 2016. So that means if you've been doing it for three years and you've been doing it for no time at all, doesn't matter, it's all new patterns for everyone. That means that you can win, Sally. That's right, you. And if your name is Sally and you haven't already decided to compete in con costume construction, I'd highly suggest it. But anyway, let's move on. Now, let's get our new patterns for this year. Drum roll, please. Patterns for 2016 include steampunk, dresses, skirts, and jackets, waistcoat, men's shirts, civil war, and women's corsets. And now would be a great time to pause your video so you can soak up all those juicy details on the screen right now. And those are your patterns for the 2016 year. Remember, your budget on your costume is $100. That's right, $100. If you've gone to $99, you still have an extra dollar to spend. If you've gone to $101, you've gone a little bit too far over budget. And remember, if your project is millinery, it's only a $50 budget. So, the next thing you're going to need for costume construction IE is your poster. So let's go ahead and create our own poster, our mock poster for this video. All right, so for our mock poster, it needs to be 20 inches by 30 inches. That needs to be the size of your poster that you bring into your presentation. Now on your poster, you must include all expenses, sheets, and receipts. That's right, as you make your product, you need to keep up with your expenses and your receipts so that they can see where you've spent your budget. You will also need a collage of the production process with images. So you're going to need to take pictures along the way and put them on your poster at the very end to show in your presentation. At the bottom right hand corner, where we're going to put ours, we need the name of the participant as well as the troop number and pattern number. Okay, so now that you've finished your costume and poster, it's time for presentations at Thespian Festival. You've done most of your work at home, but you still have a little bit left to do at festival. So what you need to do is prepare an eight minute or less presentation, and also prepare for a Q&A afterward that should last somewhere under four minutes. So the total presentation time should only be about 12 minutes of your weekend, which is pretty awesome. You get to spend the rest doing thespian-like things. So, in your presentation, I can't stress this enough, do not wear your costume. Please don't wear your costume. Make sure you wear all black, like all the other IEs. You're not special, even though, well, you are special. Don't let anyone ever tell you that you're not special. You are very special. But you all have to wear black, just like the other IEs. Now, for your costume, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hang it up on a hanger and stick it in a box and bring that box into the presentation with you, along with your poster. You'll present your poster, and then you'll be home free. I believe that's all for costume construction, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow around on the other social medias for Texas Thespians. If you have any questions, feel free to put your questions in the comments, as well as you could comment on other social medias. I'm sure some STO will get back to you. Uh, special thanks to Skylar Gillum for all the information in this video today. And so, that wraps up our video. And from me and the crew, we all bid you adieu. Thank you, and have a great day.